Good afternoon. I was trying to uh, sum up how our week ahead's weather is going to progress. We'll pretty much cast your mind back to what we had last week because that's what we're going to see. High pressure is going to dominate the weather story, which on one side, it means that there's going to be a good deal of dry weather around for most of us. But frost and fog could be a bit of an issue once again across central and southern England. That means that on Monday, we're going to start off with a pressure pattern that looks somewhat like this. High pressure with us. These weather fronts are out to the west, always just spilling a little bit more cloud across the top of that high and a bit more of a westerly feed so a milder source across the far northwest of Scotland. Elsewhere early frost will lift away sparkling blue sky and sunshine for many and top temperatures generally between around six and nine degrees. So as we come out of Monday into Tuesday, that high pressure still with us. That keeps the skies clear through the night. Temperatures are likely to fall away across England and Wales. We could see some patchy fog forming yet again across central and eastern areas. So here, temperatures hovering around the freezing mark, still milder with that westerly feed, that moisture coming in off the Atlantic into the far north of Scotland. And there's a potential here for a little bit of light patchy rain toppling across the high on Tuesday. So increasing winds and some wet weather into Northern Ireland, northwest of the Great Glen as we go through the day on Tuesday, gradually drifting east. Fog will gradually lift if it lingers in one or two spots, could be on the chilly side, but generally those highs are around five to seven degrees milder out to the west with that southerly flow and that moisture coming in off the Atlantic. Now, as we move into Wednesday, it's pretty much a repeat performance of what we've got today. A weak weather front bumping into the high pressure, weakening off a band of cloud and drizzle, sinking its way steadily south. And then behind it, an orderly feed kicks in and that'll bring some cleaner, clearer air, more sunshine coming through, but just that little bit cooler in the far north. So again, those temperatures pretty much where they should be for this time of year, 8 to 10 degrees. The front eases away. The high once again establishes itself coming in from the west. The position of where the high is going to sit open to subtle differences. So because the high is out to the west, the coldest and the strongest of the winds really running down through the east through the North Sea. So along those exposed east coasts on Thursday, it's going to be noticeably colder, a bit more of a breeze here, but still a lot of dry weather and still a lot of sunshine, hopefully, to look out for. Always the far north and west, a thicker cloud, a little bit greyer here, but the temperature which is more subdued perhaps on Thursday. Then as we move towards Friday, still the high pressure with us, fronts trying desperately hard to move in, but at the moment the high is blocking them and that means we'll continue with a similar story. Yes, a good deal of dry weather out there, early morning frost and fog lifting away to sunshine and always with that uh, breeze coming in off the sea is where we'll see a little more cloud and poorer visibility along west facing coast. Top temperatures through Friday of around 6 to nine degrees. Now the high pressure is going to gradually drift its way steadily eastwards and we'll see more of an invigorated jet stream pushing in from the Atlantic, pretty much heading to our direction. Why is that important? It does mean that uh, after the next weekend, we could see more rain returning. But just to summarise, as you can see, a relatively quiet week of weather. If you have outdoor plans, you shouldn't be too disappointed unless you get caught in that cold fog. Take care.